This is Courage Unlimited, and I'm Chad Ikes. How's everybody doing? Men, women, and anything in between there? It is 2021, and we have a lot of stuff going on. Um, in my mind, there's a lot of scary stuff going on. And I'm just hoping that everything kind of stays in somewhat of a check. And I hope that our government can actually balance itself out with doing without doing anything too radical and too overwhelming. Uh, today, I want to talk a little bit about the 117th Congress, our new Congress that just started uh, a couple days ago. But first, let me ask you guys to like this channel, subscribe to this channel. Give me the little thumbs up like. Share this channel if you like it. Share it if you don't like it. Um, comment on this video, good or bad. I'm willing to listen to anybody's point of view, just like I'm asking people to listen to my point of view. This is how we learn by talking and discussing things. Okay, let's get on with it. Um, there's so many things to talk about, and there's so much going on right now. It's actually really hard to kind of stay up with everything. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I talk about this. I'm a blue collar guy. Um, and blue for blue collar people, it's it's hard to to you spend a lot of time working and and you're busy a lot with your families and whatever. It's hard to stay up with all this stuff, especially when there's so many things going on. And then with today's social media and the people that run the social media that really want to bend their point of view, there's so much crap out there. And it's, and it's really hard to weed through it. And I admit that I don't have a lot of time. I'm on here talking about what I have had time to research and just my general feelings about stuff. Um, maybe hoping to, to help people see something from a different perspective. I'm hoping that other people can comment back to me. And I can see a different perspective. Um, yes, so I posted a thing on my Instagram a few days ago talking about what I'm supposed to call my mom now that I can't use the word mom. Because uh, the 117th Congress redid their rules, um, as they always kind of do every couple years. And, or every time, the new Congress, every couple years. Um, they have a section in here that relates to gender and being non-gender specific. So, this kind of irritates me uh, for many different reasons. But there was a bunch of different articles and I hadn't actually had the time to look into it. Um, so, I kind of went off what I knew at the time. Now I have had time to actually download the rules of the new Congress and uh, kind of look at them and go over them. And there was a lot of stuff said that was that was uh, implied. And I think the implications aren't necessarily bad because we are definitely leading toward those implications, but we're not quite there yet. So first of all, I just I want to clear it off. I'm not on here to try to feed people. I'm not in here to to, to convince people people and uh, different than I think. I'm trying to say my point of view. If you understand it, cool. If you don't, cool. If you got questions, cool. Um, and I'm not here to lead anyone away. I want I want the truth. I want to know the truth. Um, which is why I hope if people have evidence of something other than what I'm saying, they can they comment. Um, there was a, quite a few rule changes. I mean, not a whole lot, but there was a few rule changes. But again, it's the gender one that that really I want to focus on right now. And and it is the gender change is very small. Um, I'm going to read it to you right now. Um, honor all gender identities. Change pronouns and familiar relationships in the house rules to be gender neutral or remove references to gender. As appropriate to ensure we are inclusive of all members, delegates, resident, commissioners, and their families, including those who are non-binary. That's it. That's to the best of my research, that is the best I could come up with of what these rules actually are. And now in the in the newspapers and everything else out, or not newspapers, the internet, all that stuff. 
Um, on one end, they were going, you can't say mom, you can't say dad, you can't say sibling, you can't say, well, there's, there's no rules. There's no list of words in here. They're basically saying that, and they're not saying you can't say it. What this, if you read this the way I read it, in the house rules. So written in the rules, they cannot say any word that is gender specific. So that's the rule. So all these, the newspapers and the media and all these people that were saying, you can't say this word, you can't see that word. Well, first of all, they're not saying you can't say it. They're saying you can't write it in the house rules. Um, they're also not specifying words. They're saying any word that's gender specific. I'm, this is semantics. And I know that I'm kind of pushing the bounds of, of what it is here and there. But what I'm, I'm trying to clarify that this is all they said. Now, I think this is vague as shit. And I think if you're going to change this and you want to change the rules of Congress, the House, then you need to be specific about what you want. This to me is typical uh, government and kind of lawyer BS. This is half-assing it down the middle of the road, afraid to say one way or another. Um, and my other part of this is, I mean, this is this is Congress. This is the highest government in our nation, basically. And if they're saying that you can't write these words in our rules, how long is it going to take before they say, we don't think you should be able to say these words? And they shouldn't be in our laws. And now they shouldn't be in any state laws. And so on and so on. Um, you know, why? Why would you put it, hey, you can't say, you can't write that in our rules. Oh, but you can say it. Like, that's dumb. In my mind. In my mind, that's just dumb. Why? Why I can't write it, but I can say it? Well, if I can say it, why can't I write it then? Like, we're splitting hairs here, and this is, this is just stupid. Either this is, this is people playing that gray area trying not to piss anyone off and trying not to make an actual stand and say, here's what we think. Uh, you're trying to play both ends. And when one guy says this, you can say, well, we didn't say you couldn't say it. We just said you couldn't write it. So they're trying to play both sides instead of just going, here's what we think. And again, this is my opinion. This is the way I see it. Now, here's my problem with all this. And here's my problem with all this uh, non-specific gender, what I think is BS. The, I don't even know what you'd want to say that the, the, the um, transgender people are somehow offended by, by, and some, this isn't even all of them. This isn't even all of them. Some of them are, are offended by, yeah, please don't, please don't think I'm categorizing all transgender people because I'm not. I'm categorizing a group of transgender people like the groups that, that are protesting and they want non-specific gender words. Okay, well, you're telling me that you're offended by this word and you don't want us to say it. Well, what if I'm offended by the fact that you don't want me to be proud to be a male, to be a brother, to be a uncle, to be a spouse, I'm not a spouse, but to be a spouse, to be, I'm supposed to be ashamed to be a man, but it's okay for you to be proud of whatever gender you think you are or whatever gender you feel you are. Come on, this doesn't seem fair. And now let's also go to, let's talk a little bit about majority and minority. There is a majority of society that sets the rules. It's always been this way. In every society, it's the majority that says, hey, we all prefer to be like this. Or the majority of us prefer to be like this, so these are the rules. And there's always an outskirt of minority that may not necessarily like it, but they're like, okay, here's what it is. Now, my example of this is I am have my own religious beliefs. 
and they're more based in science and quantum physics and possibilities like that. I can get into that in another video if you would pe if you people would like. Um, but in this country, our country was based definitely in part on Christianity. Our money says in God we trust. Um, we do the Pledge of Allegiance of the flag, which I believe says something about God in there somewhere. It's been so long since I've said it. Um, these United States under God. I'm not offended by that. Even though I have some issues with religion, don't necessarily believe the Bible, I'm not offended by those things. Because that's how this country was started. Why should the country have to change? Because I'm not, I don't feel that that's right. Or I don't feel that that's proper. Why should I ask the millions of religious people to change because I don't like it? I'm one person. I'm one individual. And now here's another example. I'm pretty much a misfit in the world. Um, I am not very social. I have severe depression. Um, I sleep horribly. Am I supposed to go, hey, you guys offend me because you, you get up early in the morning. We shouldn't have early mornings. Nobody should be able to open their business until 1030. And you know what? I'm crabby in the morning because I wake up feeling like shit every day. So you know what? No one's allowed to talk till noon because you offend me when you're happy. And you offend me when you get up with energy. So you can't, you need to not be that way. Is that fair? No, it's not. Like, I know it's not. I'm not asking the world to change for me. I'm an individual. I need to fit in where society is. The fact of the matter is, if everyone chose their own gender, and if there was no gender specific, and if males were supposed to be with males and females were supposed to be with females, the race would have never happened. Or it would have been way smaller. And still, still, I am not saying you can't be gay. I'm not saying you can't be transgender. I'm not saying you can't dress however you want to dress. I'm all for it. Do what you want to do. This is America. We're free. But don't tell me I'm not supposed to be a man. Don't tell me I'm not supposed to be proud to be a man. Don't tell me that you can be proud of your gender if you say, I'm not a man, I want to be a woman, you can be proud to choose to be that woman, but I can't be proud to be born a male and like being a male. In fact, I would be an absolutely horrible woman. I fully admit that. I'm not very attractive as a man. I sure as shit wouldn't be attractive as a woman. And shaving my legs and all that extra work, <laughs> not happening. I would be a terrible female. <sighs> What I don't understand here, I don't understand why the country is allowing these kind of things to happen. You know, I'm not, as you guys know, um, I don't, I try not to really, I try not to put too much research and plan these videos. Um, I'm, I'm a blue collar guy. I, I look this stuff up when I have time. And so I try to kind of come at you with, with my thoughts and without having it planned and having all these notes and everything. But sometimes my, all my thoughts get jumbled up because I have a lot of them. So please for, excuse me for that. If, if you guys think I should prepare more, I, I can work on that too. Um, but you know, it's kind of like when, you, when I go to a job interview, if I decide to shave my head and leave my beard long, I know that my appearance is going to have an effect on that job, depending on the job. If I work in a warehouse, nobody is really going to care. If I'm in a storefront representing um, a restaurant, a donut place, or I mean, even if I'm selling computers, like my appearance uh, is going to have some effect on the job that I can do. Well, it, it, that that's the way it is for for um, like straight male or female gender, okay? Why do you think that as a transgender, the rules should change for you when they shouldn't be the same for us? Now, I think that everyone should be treated fairly based on the quality of the person they are. 
I'm not saying we should have rules against gay. I'm not saying we should have rules against lesbian. I'm not saying we should have rules against transgender. I think the rules that I have are perfectly fine for them and vice versa. Um, we should all be held by the quality of who we are, not by how we look, not by the color of our skin, not by our religion, not by our race, none of that stuff. But this is life and this is reality and it's not fairy tale and it's not peaches and cream and it's not la la dreamland. This is reality. There's certain things, certain ways work. And in all honesty, this society was started and based on a man and a woman raising a family. And I don't understand why that is getting looked down upon. And again, I'm not saying all transgender people think this way. I'm not saying gay people think this way. But there is a sect of the LBGTQ that does think this way. I mean, Black Lives Matter, they took it down, but they had it on their website. They wanted to ratify, I think, I can't even remember the term, ratify the nuclear family. What do you mean ratify? What's wrong with the nuclear family? Why do you have to change it? Why can't you add it? I'm more than willing to admit that there are gay or lesbian couples and probably even transgender couples who raise amazing children. I mean, it's the same thing. There's single moms that raise amazing children. There's single fathers that raise amazing children. But why do we have to get rid of one thing that's been here forever just because you don't like it or just because you're offended by it? You know, what if the fact, I'm offended the fact that you're trying to get rid of it. I'm offended by the fact that you have a, you have a problem with it. And you're telling me I can't, I can't be proud of it and we have to change the rules. We can't say a gender. I mean, if, if the people that want to do this are so open and so understanding like they claim they are, then why doesn't this say we need to add a nonspecific gender to what we already have? So you could say mother, father, or, and parent. Why do you have to get rid of one? Why do you have to bring break down what we already have in order to make something new when all you simply have to do is add it in? I wonder. I wonder this. You know, and then there's going to be a certain amount of people that watch this video and go, Chad's a bigot. Chad's a racist. Chad's against... Gays, Chad's a, uh, I don't know what's the word, homophobe. If you really knew me, you'd know that's not true. But a lot of people, the kind of people that would claim that don't want to bother to know me. They want to look at this and let their emotions rule them and come in here. In fact, I'm trying, I'm trying to offer options so everybody gets treated fairly. Um, yeah. Just a thought I had. I mean, it just, it bothers me. I actually, I actually, uh, if you follow my Instagram, I did a video about what am I supposed to call my mom now? And, and a couple people commented and my, the best one I heard was birthing vessel. Um, but my mom's late sixties, maybe even seventies. And well, her birthing vessel doesn't really work anymore. So I had to call her like a non-functioning birthing vessel. Um, my biggest problem with that is, is I know my mom loves being a mom. My mom's, she's a kind of a tomboy, you know, she grew up on a farm and stuff and she helps us butcher the chickens and all that stuff still. Like, but my mom's a woman and she, she's proud to be a woman and she's proud to be a mom and she's proud to be a grandmother and a great grandmother. So I'm a little offended when, when I hear all this stuff and it's like, well, wait a minute, why, why can't we add what, what you want to it? And keep in mind, I'm not, I don't want to say that, like, I don't understand gay, lesbian, don't understand transgender. I'm trying to, but I'm a male and I'm proud to be a male. Like, I'm happy I'm a guy. I'm proud to be a guy. So for me to go, yeah, I understand what it feels like. Well, no, I don't. I mean, I'm trying to. I don't get it, but what I do understand is that you have every right to be that way. You have every right to feel that way. If you're a man and you want to be with a man, you have every right to be that way. 
You're a woman, you want to be with a woman, you have that right. Every bit of you have that right as much as I want to be with a woman. You know? I'm just trying to be fair. I'm just trying to tell it how it is. All right. I'm going to leave this topic because I'm going to end this video and do another one. So you guys, please like this channel, subscribe to this channel, uh, help me make this thing grow. I got a new logo coming. We're going to start working on t-shirts. Man, I'm not trying to offend anybody here, but people are going to get offended. That's life. That's the way it works. Um, I just want to try to communicate and start opening lines of discussion. And let's figure this shit out, man. Let's have a great community and a great country. You know, everything starts with the family. I'm going to protect my family. I'm going to protect my home. I'm going to protect my state. And I want to protect my country. And if there's room, I want to protect the world. But it's all a little bit at a time. You know, you can't protect your country if you can't protect your own home. If you guys understand that. Um, all right, that's it. I'm out. Talk to you guys later. Bye.